Sorry, I slept a little weird last night. I don't know what that was all about. I think I'll pass. Like, this doesn't really look like- You know, platformers themselves are sort of like pizza restaurants. Endless choices, tons of copycats, high quality versus budget quality franchises. D dominoes You may be like me, where every day you're barely surviving till 5 o'clock. You get home from work, you have to make dinner, feed the cats, do chores, and by the time you get to play a game... <sighs> but Pizza Tower? I need you to play this, really. It's a good turn off your brain kind of title. For beginners, it's great, and it gets even better when you're more experienced. Actually, how about a good chart? We love charts around here, don't we folks? So on the X, we have time invested, and Y is mechanical skill. You can put any game on this, and it sort of tells you how much time you have to invest before you actually get good. Guilty Gear, I'm like playing a part-time job. And Yoshi's Woolly World, uh, I think taking up knitting would be more exciting. But Pizza Tower, once you know the main mechanics, it's a gradual progression to the higher skill ceiling. And then it gets like Fox Up Smash because it gets pretty crazy up there. I want you to imagine a pizza. Can't. Impossible. Where each slice has original toppings. This game, every level has a unique mechanic. So how does it design a level? Well, let's talk about the first level in the game, John Gutter. I don't get the name either. And here we are, the first room. If a room had any more mechanics packed into it, you'd think we'd be at Mr. Lube. There's a, a, a tutorial level, but uh, <laughs> what are you really learning in a tutorial? I never went to those in university, they're pointless. Doesn't put all of these things together. This first room does. Here we learn how to use your three main buttons. That's right, there's only three. Jump, attack, and run. And look at this first obstacle. You jumped! Oh my god! Who, who is this absolute prodigy? Two, attack! The first two enemies you see don't do any damage to you. I will always love you. So you're in a safe environment, but you can also see how you. <laughs> it gives you two enemies, so you can throw one into the other. And what? You, you, you did it! I let go of my claim. Also, it shows you your attack can damage critical infrastructure. Oh no! There goes the public school system! And three, the run button. Yeah, Super Mario 64 DS fans, been a little quiet. Basically, this allows you to run, making you reach Mach 2. You may as well take that run button down, you're gonna need it for everything. Breaking through metal boxes, blasting through enemies, and climbing up walls. And they leave a little mushroom up there to show you. Hey, look at this, you, you can go up the wall, what? Did you ever think of that? And that's your entire move set. Except for your... I've seen this before. Everything further is just how you use these abilities while pressing your direction. Like, in midair, if you press it down, it's a body slam. Running, if you hold down, you run. And if you hold up, you do a super jump. Yep, the rest of this level just lets you manspread your moveset to the discomfort of everyone. Well, that was easy. We got all the way to the end of the level and... Oh, we have to run all the way back. Oh my god! Okay, it's happening! Oh. Trapped everyone for himself! Okay. <laughs> Yeah, okay, so, uh, there was this load-bearing wall you shouldn't have removed. And that's John Gutter. Yep, it teaches you how a normal level of Pizza Tower works. Except... There are no normal levels! Every level's got some bullshit! Who was responsible for this? Mm -hmm. Ah, shit, I think I smudged the lens. Basically, uh, this game is Wario's Edge Pro Skater the Hedgehog and Kazooie. Revengeance. Every level introduces some new mechanics that change how Pepino works. A knight that slides down slopes, a rocket, dying. But these aren't like your Mario power-ups where it's, what the fuck? Many times these are required to move through the level. 
acting sort of like keys, where you need to use the ability in the correct spot to break the ra 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 the rat. I'm calling an emergency meeting. Hello, um, rats. Thank you for taking time out of your disgusting, filth schedule to come here, meeting me, to... Well? I'm sorry, rats. I treated you so poorly over these last few years, and... I never really hated you. In fact, I... I, I love you. Anyways, why don't I just take you through an example that really makes it pronounced. A level with a mechanic so unique, so compelling, that it is probably... It's go! This level was inspired by the award-winning game Mario Golf Toad's Dual Tour. There, you must hit a ball into the hole using your golf club. Pizza Tower takes this, molds it into dough, and throws it in the air for its own kind of spin. Yeah, maybe you're surprised to see a level like this here, but what makes this level, to me, is just how different it is when you're trying to P-rank it versus be playing it for your first time. So, what is golf? Well, as it sounds, you're doing your typical Pepino stuff, but this time, you have to hit a ball into a hole. Which here, is a cheese curd even the Quebecois would vomit at. As a beginner, it's interesting because you can't progress out of the room without doing this first. But as an expert, you really just trying to fucking get in the goddamn hole. In the second room, we encounter Maurice, a nostril that holds the ball in place a little too well. Room three, we meet these butterball dudes. When Milhouse hits them, they throw them. But when Pepino hits them, they turn them into a bowling ball. Which allows us to break the rat. What I'm getting at is, it introduces all of this to us, and you don't actually even need to play most of the level. But okay, hold up, back it up, back it up! If you're paying attention, this room's a hub area. It does lead to the end of the level, but this houses all of the optional collectibles. Yeah, you know you want that. I know you want that. You've been looking at it. You're like, are we gonna do that? Don't worry, we're gonna do it. It makes it a level with some of the most optional content. Yeah, up until this point in my playthrough, I was downing levels like a box of pizza. Just sliding them down my gullet, not even tasting them. But this level? I also did the same. I don't even think I played most of it. Now you need toppings to get money and money to unlock levels, so eventually you're gonna need to go back to previous levels until I reached golf, and I kept playing it. I kept getting more of the toppings and discovering more of the level, and I realized I didn't want to just get them. I wanted to perfect this level. I wanted to be the best at it. Not a B, not an A, but a P. So how do you get the desired P? All right, everyone, pull out your required cup of water right now. Well, first, we need to get the three special stages and beat them. Second, a lot of points. Toppings, nerd blocks, all those other snacks, and... Him. Lastly, you know the corners of the screen that I just have never mentioned up until this point? All of these have to do with your score and your combo. But if that pizza slice reaches the left, you fail. You are a disgrace, nobody likes you, your whole family has disowned you. So uh, that's how the combos work. But to get a P rank, we have to have a combo through the whole damn level. We can't drop it once. Lucky for us though, Chucky Finster over here actually preserves our combos, so we won't get in that trouble too much. But with that out of the way, we can start. So I've been playing for a while. So I've been playing for a while and it failed spectacularly, but I think it's finally time. I know what I need to do, I know how to do it, and I can show you right now how you can P-rank this level. Let's do it. The beginning of the stage isn't much different, except we incidentally are hitting the golf. Wait, 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 what are you... Oh, I didn't say hit on! Oh. Well, we're just trying to blow through it. Room one, done. Room two, look what I can do. Room three, a zig and a zag and I got the bag. 
After we do so with no mistakes whatsoever, we reach the first of the optional holes, the fry hole. This one's actually really straightforward, and if a beginner were to play this, it would build on the stuff they already learned about the golf mechanics. Now we just need to spaghetti over here, knock it out of Maurice, and a uh, Maurice, Maurice! How did I mess up the easiest part? But this special stage is actually really cool. I was just gonna gloss over them, but there's a mechanic in the game where when you belly flop, it actually knocks enemies up, and they use that so you get goddamn Carl Weezer up to the- It's just- it's brilliant! But you don't even need to go here! This is just- this is optional! Anyways, next up we move to the soda course. This one is a little bit more robust. We're not gonna get away with just hitting the ball whenever we see it. We have to actually angle it and be careful to hit it in the right- Jesus! Luckily we have the butter balls to help us- <sighs> To help us out, get the ball in the right direction. Overall, if you don't know how to hit the ball correctly, this could be game over for you. But when you got a master on that, it's the same every time you play it. And the real kicker is, this level has enemies that can't be killed by Pepino. It's a love triangle between Velma, the Porky Pigs, and Pepino. And I hate it! Anyways, that's another one for the road, but there is a special stage here we can complete. We made it, the final optional hole. The Berg Course. And this time around, in order to knock our score up, we WANT to get grabbed by the Butterball. With him, we just have to make sure we hop over a few things and get to the next one so we can- No, no, I did not pee at all just now. And we knocked the rat block! Bim, bang, boom, we got it. No problem at all. <laughs> After all of that, we just have to find this portal and go below. These butterballs are actually used, so we go back up through the portal, jump over, and hit the rat. You gotta love them. And we made it to, uh, uh... I'm running out of nerd names, guys. But before we get golfing, there's one more special stage. With my favorite enemy! Oh my god, I love him so much! And wow, we've come full circle, right? Remember when I was just having a nice strut on the green? I could really take my time here, but as soon as we hit that John block, it's time to run. Murray! Alright, so quickly, we have to go up and grab Jerome. He's very important. These last rooms are not difficult, it's just about not losing the combo, which there are some areas where if you miss time a jump, you'll be stuck because of these automated sections. You can't go any faster, so if you miss it, then you can't get it again, and then you lose the combo, and then you have to do the whole goddamn level again! And when it comes to Jeff over here, we really just have to hit him in the fewest amount of strokes. So as long as you- No, N sir? Sir, I'm gonna need you to go the other way! Nothing to see here, continue watching. Second hole, and this one's easier, thank god. All we have to do is blast him to the right. We can run at Mach 2, Mach 3, blast through the entire stage until we're back. Rolling into the earthbound gas pumps to push us through. But why, you may ask? Do you remember the rats? How could you forget them? No time! Why did we need to roam to open this door and get the final treasure? But it's not over yet. I gotta preserve a combo this whole time. And I gotta be careful not to get hit. Hurtling at Mach 3 to the exit. But wait a minute. That's that that pee's looking a little weird. Are you sure we we did it? Oh wait, there's a room over here with a portal somewhere. Yes, a mechanic of this game necessary for P rank is getting out of here with enough time to go through two times! Now that we don't have to golf through these rooms, we can soar through. We're a jet, we're an angel, flying to the heavens! Maybe we don't believe in ourselves, but when we actually take the steps forward to do what we need, we can accomplish anything! Ah! Oh, oh. <laughs> I did it! Yeah! <laughs> I finally did it! <laughs> to go through the door in order for it to count. <laughs> and that's the game! Go grab your salami and go pick up Pizza Torment for that price there! You know, Pepino's a cool character, but it'd be really cool if there was another one, something different, something original, something... 
Well, you can you can play as the you can you can play you can you can you can, you can play as the rat. Hi, thank you for watching this video. I decided, you know, I wanted to put my all into a game and a video I care about, so if you actually did like this video and the style, please like that video and subscribe. It shows me that you want more of this style, and I will slave over making a video like this, but it's just really hard to do because of other forces in my life. But if I have the support to make videos like this, I'll happily do it all the time, so that's me being sensitive. Here's me being insensitive. Oh!